Much was lost from ancient cultures and civilizations, from the Romans to the Egyptians, and not least of all the great philosophers of ancient Greece. Should they be alive today, the likes of Aristotle, Plato and Hippocrates would be changing the world with their vision and intelligence. How did these individuals surpass their peers with their thoughts and ideas? Today we'll learn about Hippocrates and his notion on the four temperaments and how you can use that knowledge today to better succeed in life. He was respected both as a doctor and a professor during his lifetime. Both Plato and Aristotle make reference to him, and Aristotle's disciple Meno describes his views on the origins of illness. So great was his work that the Egyptian library at Alexandria compiled the Hippocratic Collection. There are over 60 medical works attributed to Hippocrates, if not written by him, then significantly influenced by his works and teachings. The topics included in this compilation range from anatomy and physiology to paediatrics and obstetrics, from surgical techniques to medical ethics. Also included in the Hippocratic collection is the Hippocratic Oath, which details the responsibilities of medical professionals to their trainees and the responsibilities of medical students to their instructors. The physician swears to practice medicine in a moral and ethical manner, to administer only life-enhancing medicines and to avoid causing any pain or injury to his or her patients. He was a medical prodigy, paving the way for future generations with his discoveries. However, that was not what sets him apart as one of the greatest minds in human history. The philosophy of four temperaments, which originates from Hippocrates' medical research, could be the key to unlocking modern-day problems. Hippocrates, a Greek physician, postulated that people's bodies included varying concentrations of blood, phlegm, yellow bile and black bile in various quantities. Black bile was thought to be the most prevalent of the four fluids. The amount of these fluids, sometimes known as senses of humour, were thought to define an individual's placement in one of four psychological groups – sanguine, choleric, melancholy or phlegmatic. This theory was held by early philosophers as well as early medical practitioners. So important were these fluids that, when out of balance, it led to either physical or mental sickness, depending on the individual. There has been much debate in modern times on whether or not these fluids are linked to illness. However, if we were to look at it from a personality or a motivation point of view, they still prove useful in understanding human nature. In particular, Hippocrates' philosophies can help us understand why certain people react in specific ways, how to get the best out of our colleagues, and how to find the perfect match in friendships and love. As you would imagine, solving this would increase our productivity. The four temperaments are, as personality traits, sanguine, or pleasure-seeking and sociable, choleric, or ambitious and assertive, melancholic, analytical and literal, and phlegmatic, thoughtful and relaxed. An individual will have aspects of all four temperaments, but their strengths, or more importantly their weaknesses, will come from two of them. Understanding where they are will help you fortify your weaknesses and maintain your strengths. It also helps you as a leader better communicate with your team. For example, sanguines need to know what will immediately benefit them, whereas a melancholic needs time and information before getting started on a task. You may want to put a choleric in charge of a project, as they are more assertive compared to a phlegmatic, who is better at individual tasks. Not only is knowledge of the temperament useful in the workplace, but also everyday life. Friendships are formed with people of equal temperaments to feel affirmed and good about oneself. Whereas, for romantic relationships, an opposite might be more attractive, to complement each other and raise children with broader perspectives. Understanding how to identify these temperaments in yourself and other people will surely help you succeed in life, love and career. This is just a drop of water in an endless sea of knowledge lost to us from the passage of time. There is so much more that we can learn from the past in order to affect the present and change our future. Don't miss out on what else we can uncover together. Like and subscribe to our channel.